Good morning and welcome to St. Norbert's for our daily liturgy on this first Friday of February. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr. Please rise as we begin our celebration. everybody. Welcome. Let us begin this miracle in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Today the church celebrates the feast of St. Blaise, a fourth century bishop born in Armenia to a noble Christian family. He was well educated. Having been persecuted for his faith, he was imprisoned, and while in prison, he cured many of his cellmates of diseases. Some cures were of maladies of the throat. He was eventually beheaded because of his faith. Through the intercession of St. Blaise, may we go out of our way to attend to those in need. Let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. We will bless throats immediately after the intercessions. Let us pray. <clears throat> Hear, O Lord, the supplication of your people made under the patronage of the martyr St. Blaise and grant that we may rejoice in peace in this present life and find help for life eternal. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful of prisoners as if sharing their imprisonment, and of the ill-treated as of yourselves, for you also are in the body. Let marriage be honored among all, and the marriage bed be kept undefiled, for God will judge the immoral and adulterers. Let your life be free from love of money, but be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus we may say with confidence, the Lord is my helper and I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord 
is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. shelter of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Your presence, O oh Lord, I see. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper, cast me not off. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. King Herod heard about Jesus, for his fame had become widespread, and people were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Others were saying, he is Elijah. Still others, he is a prophet like any of the prophets. But when Herod learned of it, he said, it is John whom I beheaded. He has been raised up. Herod was the one who had, who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodides, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, it is not lawful for you Herodotus harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. Herodotus had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. His own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, what shall I ask for? Her mother replied, the head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter, the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her, so he promptly dispatched an executioner 
with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison and brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl, in turn, gave it to her mother. When his disciples learned about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Our first reading uh, consists of simple but important moral directives. These moral prescriptions make up a useful summary and practical application to living Christ and his commands for us to be loving. Our gospel comes from Mark, and what we have in this excerpt is a poignant recounting of a courageous citizen pointing out the sin of a very powerful man who could certainly harm him, and the Baptist takes that risk. The Baptist is an inspiring model for us to speak the truth to the powers that be despite the cost. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Blaise, a bishop from Armenia who was martyred for his faith. Blaise was uh, Blaze has been invoked throughout the centuries as a patron for people with diseases of the throat. Many students ask, in 2023, why do we seek a blessing from an ancient bishop? Perhaps, I was thinking, because deep down we all know that we are made up of more, much more than just flesh and bone. We are beings with souls whose citizenship is destined for heaven. Weak people let others define who they are. Strong people let God define who they are. Today's blessing is a reminder of our brokenness, our human frailty, our need for spiritual healing, and our gratitude for God's care for us. The closing prayer of the intercessions will be the blessing of throats. Because weak people let others define who they are. Strong people let God. Let us pray. We join together and bring our prayers before our God of compassion and mercy, trusting that he will not forsake or abandon us. For the church throughout the world, may the Lord strengthen and sustain our faith in all we do. Let us pray to the Lord. For national leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in making wise decisions that protect the most vulnerable in our society, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those traveling the long road of grief, may they know Christ's presence and rest in the confidence that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit enable us to witness God's steadfast love in all we say and do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, may God grant them eternal rest and peace in his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For Elizabeth Nolan, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the King of Peace would free our world from conflict and war, bring unity to troubled nations, and let his glorious peace reign in every human heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for the intentions we hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. for communion.
I trust in you, I trust in you, I believe you're my healer, I believe you're all I Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify our offerings by your many blessings, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace, may we be set afire with the flames of your love, through which St. Blaise overcame every bodily torment, through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Jesus. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, martyrs, and saints, cry out, and without end we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup, we thank you for counting us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Nelson, our Bishop, the clergy, all who minister in our parish, and all those fighting for freedom and peace throughout the world. Remember also all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Blaise, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life. Jesus, my Lord, my God, my Lord, how can I love thee as I ought? And how be thee this wondrous gift, so far surpassing hope for thee? Sweet sacrament, 
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have just partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr blaze, faithful in your service and victorious in suffering. The hearts of your faithful submit to your name, entreat their help, O Lord, Entreat your help, O Lord, and since without you we can do nothing that is just, grant by your abundant mercy that we may both know what is right and receive all that we need for our good. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful weekend. A reminder that our first Friday night of praise and worship with adoration and solemn benediction called Light the Night is at 7 p.m. tonight. Please join us. And our miraculous medal devotion will follow the closing hymn today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and we shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, Grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. 
O Lord Jesus Christ, who have vouchsafed to glorify by numberless miracles the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and Holy Spirit live and reign God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for a better and more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of your mother, have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Laboré, grant, we beseech you, that filled with like humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work, amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer them. Amen. The Novena Prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal. We, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our immortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. You know, O oh Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us, then, a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone, so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin and at length attain to that blessed abode where you are the queen of angels and of men. Amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties toward you ever while wearing it. May we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Hail, Holy Queen and throned above, O Maria. Hail, Queen of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph for each cherubim, sing with us, ye seraphim. 
We will have first Saturday devotions tomorrow morning after the 7.30 Mass in the oratory. Thank you.